Hi, we're Bastille, and this is called Flaws. When all of your flaws and all of my flaws are laid out one by one, the wonderful parts of the mess that we made, we pick ourselves out of dark. Welcome to the Tube and we are here with uh, exciting newcomers Bastille. Welcome to Liverpool. Not sure if you've been here before. Not too sure. Um, well, if you could tell us a little bit about the band that formed two years ago, it'd be great for people to choose to know a bit more about you. Yeah, um, we, I think we, we did our first sort of proper gig April last year, but we've been rehearsing for a few months before that for music, getting our shit together. April last year, wow. It's, uh, so that's really nice. That's, that's definitely nice. <laughs> if last year's pretty recent, um, how how because you, you sound like a pretty well formed live band. How did that come about? We played together before. Did you yeah, I, I I've been doing some stuff by myself um, beforehand and been playing with these guys. So we we played together for a few years. Um, yeah, and then uh, but it was really I think we just we even though we were rubbish, we we spent ages rehearsing before we we really did any proper gigs. Did a few like. Little shows under, under a different name, like, not that even that. But yeah, we did a couple of little warm up shows and then took our time before playing like, our first sort of gig. So, since you have been playing and active, um, what have been the important milestones so far? Like things you're really proud of? Um, I don't know, I guess like shows selling out is ridiculous and we've <laughs> always really, remember, like, I think, what's a big deal, like releasing, releasing stuff. So, we released our first sort of single the summer last year, like on the little indie labels. Uh, that was Glastonbury. Glastonbury. Oh, yeah, Glastonbury was amazing. 
Um, the That's Reading this year was, was massive for us. Like we did our first thing on like live TV at Reading, as well as doing Reading, we did that as well, which was, that was quite a weird day. It's kind of always all kind of festivals and venues that you kind of always wanted to play, and it's like trying to start ticket off, it's like, this is pretty mental. Yeah, we're feeling really, really lucky at the moment because we just um, keep getting to do weird stuff that we never thought we'd be able to do. And like the Roundhouse as well, yeah. Yeah, that was mad. Yeah. Well, um, um, speaking of speaking of signing, you recently signed to Virgin Records. Um, congratulations! How has that affected the band and the way you operate? It's kind of changing that from releasing it as a young and lost club before. Yeah, um, it's been um, good. I think we've we've so far had a really nice experience um, at the label. Yeah, and you hear so so many horror stories, but um, we sort of the right amount kind of be left to do our own thing. You know, they haven't interfered that much when it comes to the, the, the songs we made the album with the guy that we made all the demos with, and that hasn't changed at all. Um, but yeah, I mean, it is it is weird. Like, it, it's obviously it's our job now, which is amazing. Um, so that's a massive change for all of us, and being able to put all of our time into it is, is wicked. And um, but I don't know. I think I just completely lost my train of thought. Um, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. It, it's it's quite weird having suddenly loads of people involved and especially you know last year we worked really hard like with our manager um to do and we did everything ourselves you know from like made videos from nothing and, and all the artwork and all that kind of stuff um and it was all sort of very kind of independently done so it's suddenly quite weird having for every little job that you just sort of got on with that it's actually someone's job to do that and that can sort of slowly